May 25. Good morning from Mason Burr Inlet. Mason Burr Inlet Anchorage was a good one for us. Got two little islands, foil islands for protection. You just got to be careful how you get in here. Follow your follow your map carefully. And uh, here's the other island on the south side. And we're gonna come in favoring it, or come out favoring it, and then we're gonna hook a hook a righty tighty. That'll drive the sailboat guys crazy up the uh, intercoastal. And we got an email this morning from the restored Navy M boat that uh, they're about 15 miles up the pike here from us. Now there is the Mason Burr Inlet, that's the cut, and they're dredging it, so if they're dredging that, they can dredge the ICW too. You know, the ICW was put together over about a 400 year period, and it's a it's a national treasure and to think in the last 30 years we're just going to throw that away it's just unthinkable Knightsville and we got a 20 foot 20 foot bridge to go under busy place going out to Mason Burr Inlet of course fishing and towing he's on the other side about a foot too low for us. So we rapidly, Mrs. Matson, tucked her away here. Something else we don't want to use on the other side. Coming up on the figure eight island uh, swing bridge here. And we've got uh, 21 feet today, although the chart list is at 20 feet. Letters on this bridge say so you're almost up on it before you can read the the depth chart. Actually the Surf City Bridge is not really identified on the chart just as a swing bridge. Uh, opens on the hour so we just pulled over and dropped the hook and had our fruit cocktail here. Looks like you got some restaurants in there as well. And 11 o'clock on the dot. One of the things we've noticed uh, as we're closing in on Moorhead City is that we no longer have those big, long, tall docks. So the tides aren't, you know, the tides are starting to tame down in this region. No, no longer have those 10 foot tides. And uh, we, we don't miss that. So uh, it's better. Now this is the uh, Onslow swing bridge that we're trying to make. They open on the half an hour and uh, they're opening up right now, so just a horse race whether we can get there in time or not. Well, 
luckily we just barely made it through that. About mile 235, come to a prohibited area and that'll be uh, to starboard if you're going north. And uh, what they're doing out here is strafing and all kinds of fun stuff. Now from the prohibited area you're going to see a tank dead ahead to the port and that tank is six miles away at this point. It's a 229. 21 flashing green. This is Bogue Inlet and uh, pretty good expanse of water through here and busy. Now the intercoastal simply runs in behind the inlet. Northbound into uh, Boak Sound proper. That's the area we're talking about right here. The intercoastal just hooks right around behind. We keep heading right up. Coming out of Cedar Point over to the Bogue Banks, we have the Super Bridge. We haven't been filming all the super bridges because by now you know that uh, if you've got a sailboat, uh, the wisest minds available have decreed that the mast height will be no more than 65 feet. Now the boat sound is just as uh, big and as anything we've tackled thus far. And up ahead, the uh, towers you see here on the uh, port, left hand side, is uh, Moorhead City in the distance. Now it's after 7 o'clock, we're just now coming into Moorhead City, and it's another shipping center. There's a, we've been monitoring the uh, radio traffic. There's a oil tanker coming in at 3 a.m., and that'd be right around the Bend. So we're going to make sure that we're nowhere around that point when we anchor. We might have to go down the river a little bit. We're going to go up here and head to port, try to clear the facility, and uh, anchor oh, about two miles up the river. And we're just bringing it right on around to the ship, tur to the ship turning basin. And we're just bringing it right on around to the ship turt to the ship turning basin. And let the starboard I'm gonna swing right around. Here's our ship in the channel. And we're gonna hook to uh, the port here. Go up the intercoastal. Right around the uh, big white building. This is the turning basin right here where this boat's coming in. And here is the inlet here at Moorhead. I'm sure it's tricky for them coming in. Our uh, ship over here appears to be a ammonia ship. Quarter to eight in the evening, 7.45. from Moorhead City.